I don't know how to start a video, but I'm Nans, and this is Procrastination, which is yet another Picross game. You know, there's a lot of them these days. Uh, Murder by Numbers, Pepper's Puzzles, this one. I think I've done a couple other ones. Uh, I know there's an RPG one as well. We're just going to get into a puzzle here. I've already done all the tiny and small ones, I believe, and can't figure out how to change my save. So, we'll just be doing this. But for those of you who don't know what Picross is, um, we have a grid here. Only some of the tiles are correct, and some of them are not correct. So what we want to do is try to use these hints along the edges to figure out what it could be. So for example, this is 14. So we know that the solution has to include at least 14 tiles here, and they all have to be connected. Because this is 15 long, we can safely say all 13 of these have to be selected because it's either this one going 13 this way or this one and then 13 this way. So we know that this middle section is definitely, you know, the entire thing. So going this way, we know we can block off to here because it's, this is 5, 10, 11, 12, 13. And then going the other direction, of course, we can do that. So we know that all of those ones have to be included in the solution. This one, same principle. It's uh, the middle 5 because it would be 5 and then 10, 5 and then 10. And for 12, uh, it would have to go to here, I believe. Yeah, 5, 10, 12. So there. And then going back that way. And then all of those ones in the middle. And the same for that one. So it's sort of shaping up here a little bit. We can see maybe like an anvil or a pedestal of some kind. I'm guessing these ones are probably centered. As much as they can be, at least. But we will see. So now we can start to use these clues to help us out a little bit here. So for example, we can see this is 1 and then 12. So this means that somewhere in this row, there are there's a, a single box, a space, and then 12. So of course, it could be the one could be here, or it could be here, because uh, 13 gives an extra two spaces. So there has to be at least two spaces somewhere in here. But because we've identified these, this music's a little jamming. Because we've identified these, we know that the 1 can't be this, of course, because there's no space for 12 after. So we can say it's, you know, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then one of these has to be the 1, but it can't be this one, so we can block that one off. And now we know for sure that that is good. Over here, it's 2, 2, 2, 2, so we can block this off and this off safely because those are already 2s. Uh, this one, we know that the other ones can't be either of these, because the there's two here. Uh, in this one, it's seven, which means if we know that this one is definitely in, the furthest away it can be is one, two, or no, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So none of these four can be it. Up here, that gives us eight, which means it definitely can't be there. And now we might be able to do... This is 3, 8, and this one is 5, 6, 7, 8. So we know these three tiles have to be it. We can block those off now, of course. This has a 2 up at the top, so we can easily say if there's one here, it has to be connected, and then we'll put a space. Down here, again, we can do the same principle we did with the 12. So we can drag this one up to here, and that one there. Block those off nice and neat. And these ones, again, we can do the same exact thing and get all those blocked off. So this one starts to be a little bit weird. It's 1, 1, 2, 2. So because there's a 2 here and it has to be in the order 1, 1, 2, 2, we know that the second one here has to be the other 2. There can't be anything there. And now we know there's a 1 and a 1 somewhere in here. But for now, we will have to deal with the other stuff. Let's just get the 11 and 12 up the same way we have been. Here, we've got 2, but only 3 spaces, giving us that definitely has to be it. Blocks off this, grabs this. Now we have another column done. We'll block off that too, giving us that complete. 
That we, ha we know has to be connected. Now they can only extend two out in either direction. So we can get rid of those. And this is basically just how Picross goes. It's, it's a nice, simple puzzle game. I prefer it over, like, Sudoku. Just because it, you know, feels a bit better to be clearing things this way. It makes you feel smarter. Or at least it makes me feel smarter. So here we've got two blocked off on this side, which means that it has to be ten extending this way. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five and seven can't fit below here. So we know that that has to be blocked off. And now there's only seven here. So we know for certain that middle three there. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's cleared itself up nicely. Thirteen. Uh, this is now three. This is twelve. So we know it can't be there. These tiles could still be the two. So we're going to leave those unmarked for now. But we know these have to connect in because it's, you know, 1 and then 11 or 12. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So that's cleared itself up, giving us an extra space here. And we know that this is no longer a possibility. This one is 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So it has to extend two more out. I guess I don't have to count it because it... Uh, automatically graze it out. So we know that's a two. This is still unclear because this is uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, it's not unclear. We can just block that off. And it just kind of becomes a, you know, something you're clearing up as you go at the end here because everything is identified. So we know that's done. Ooh, now that's a problem. Interesting. Yeah, I think those were wrong, and we wanted to do that instead. I'm not sure how I got that mixed up. I might have just accidentally held down the wrong button, but it should be fixed now, I believe. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and a block. We know that has to be blocked off because there's one here, giving us one here as well. Connect that up, and now it is complete. Just uh, clear up some of these miscellaneous leftover bits here. So it's, I don't think we have any final leads, do we? Now it's like, find the right ones to click. Except this and this and this and this are gone. So there's one in either of these two, and one in either of these two. It's probably mirrored, right? So it's like this. Yeah, there we go. It comes in pints. So it's a beer glass, I guess. Well, that's procrastination. Uh, that basically sums up exactly how the game is. You've got larger puzzles. If we go back to the level select here, you can go up to huge, which are just immense. Look at this. 25 by 25. So there are lots of puzzles. It's on Steam. The link will be in the description. Assuming I remember to put it there, but, you know, I probably will. Either way, it's a cool game. If you like puzzle games, you should check it out. And if you like Picross games, this is probably one of the better ones. I think it even has workshop support. I don't know if I can view that in-game here. Level packs, perhaps? I don't know. I'm pretty sure there's workshop games. But uh, it's pretty cool. You can customize it, too. Look at this. Color schemes? Look at this. It's not changing very much. Oh, there we go. So DOS attack, uh, random is random each time, violet tendencies, attack of the mutant camo, clarity, oh my god, that's such a bright red. Pale blue insignificance, the majesty of gold, the color of money, 
Back to the Fuchsia. I like that one. They're all puns. It's very nice. Streets of Beige, also very nice. Fine Killer, nice. But yeah, it's a cool game. You guys should check it out. And uh, I'll try to do videos more often. You know how it is. I just uh, get distracted with things for a few days and then suddenly it's eight months later. But, you know, I'll be trying. I've also been trying to stream a bit more on twitch.tv slash nansington. Link is in the description. It should be at least. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.